can't. No. Stop. <laughs> Hey Zam Fam, it's Rebecca, and if you are new to my channel, welcome to the Zam Fam. Today's video might be a little bit scary. There's been a trend going around on YouTube where people order these mystery boxes off eBay, and I thought it would be really fun to do it. So I decided to combine the two and open these two mystery boxes at 3 a.m. So I ordered these boxes a few days ago, and they finally both came, and so that means tonight I'm gonna be waking up at 3 a.m. and opening them. This box right here is a $50 mystery box, and I think it's so funny because look what it came in. It's a garbage bag box. But this box right here is supposed to be a scary mystery box. It was $100 and I'm nervous because I'm gonna be opening this scary box at 3 a.m. and I have no idea what is inside of it and I don't know, I'm just freaking out right now. 3 a.m. videos are always so scary. I don't know what it is. It's like the air is different, the vibe is different and so normal things end up being scary at 3 a.m. So I am very nervous to open these two packages, especially this one because this is a scary one, obviously. And I don't know how I'm gonna react. I don't know if I'm gonna have nightmares or be able to get back to sleep, but I'm gonna do it. Back. Back. It's time to wake up. It's three. 33. It's three. Really? I can't believe I'm doing my now. All right, Sam fam, it is 3 a.m. I'm tired. So tired. Sure. I'm in my bedroom right now. I decided to just do it here. And this is actually the room where I have felt different presences. This is the one I showed you last time. So it's a little scary, but hopefully I will be okay. I'm gonna start off with this normal mystery box. It was $50 and then I'm gonna do the $100 scary mystery box. And I'm really hoping that there's nothing freaky and I have this towel because I'm worried that my sheets are gonna get dirty because I have white sheets, you know? So let's do this. Oh, I really should not be having scissors. I really sealed it. I've never done one of these before, so I'm kind of excited. This package is designed to prevent theft. How cute is that? Wow, there's a lot in here. 24 hour moisturizer, ultra shea body cream. I'm into it. A sponge, what the heck? But I actually do need a new sponge, so I'm not complaining. Oh my gosh, it's a fan for your iPhone. What the heck? Oh. Okay, there is a glass screen protector for your phone. Oh, I've got phone cases in like all different sizes. Got a pop socket. It's all kind of like useless stuff for me. Gum, we all need good breath, winter fresh. A Bluetooth headset, I should try this. It looks like it's, yeah, it's definitely been used. I kind of don't know if I want to put this in my ear right now. I might clean it first. Love phone cases. If any of you guys want any of these phone cases, just screenshot and tag me on Instagram or tweet me with which one you want and I'll send these out to you guys because I can't use these. A USB power backup. That should come in handy. Got a sucker. Probably not gonna eat that. I don't know what this is. Our charger import thing. Okay, and finally, a portable wireless speaker. What? That's awesome. All of this is what I got for $50. Definitely not worth it, especially because I can't use half the stuff because I don't need it. It's still kind of fun to get gifts, you know, even if uh, you bought them yourself. So I'm gonna put this stuff back in the box. So this is the scary mystery box. I'm very nervous. It was $100. It doesn't feel heavy. So I don't know like what's in it. I hope there's nothing where it like curses me or something because that'd be creepy. But it says, look, handle with care fragile. Looks like there's like a box inside. So nervous right now, I'm getting goosebumps. I'm not gonna be able to sleep after this. I'm getting so nervous. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm gonna freak out, I'm gonna freak out. No, it has notes for every single one. Hello, thank you for your purchase. I collect paranormal dolls, household items, and personal items that I purchase from estate sales and am given by paranormal researchers around the country. Many of these items have high paranormal activity levels. Please proceed with caution. I'm so freaked out right now. Oh my God. I don't know if I should do this. This one says, meet Charles. Charles is a young adult spirit. He likes to make his presence known from inside his vessel. A vintage musical clown doll. No, 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 no. 
by playing its music at random times. This doll was purchased at an estate sale in June 2017 from a family in Pennsylvania. According to the previous owner, this doll was a beloved possession of their son Charles's, who passed away in a swimming accident in 1988. Charles can manifest as streaks of light orb and smoky apparition. I'm so scared. I'm gonna freak out. I'm freaking out right now. This is so freaky. I'm like so freaked out right now. Oh my gosh. I have goosebumps. I'm shaking right now. It winds up. It winds up. I feel like I'm like calling him. I don't know. Okay, stop. That was so weird. He like stopped immediately. This is a photo of a woman who died of a broken heart. Should I be opening in this? Like in my bed where I... <gasps> I shouldn't have done it in my room. But as I reached the top of the mountain, I realized that my soul was so alive. I felt the same way I feel when I look into your eyes. It's so weird having like a picture of a dead person. Oh my God. This haunted figurine was owned by a young Jewish boy named James. This doll has been known to move and fall off shelves on its own. I do not wish to own this figurine any longer. So I'm... So I'm glad, this is so freaky. So I'm glad that you purchased it. I have had an increase in nightmares since it came into my possession and seen a young man around 13 years old wearing a suit. Garmolke with no eyes standing at the edge of my bed more than once. I believe the entity to be Jason according to the family I purchased the figurine from. Please be cautious with this figurine because it is highly active. I don't want to open it. I can't. There's too many freaky things. I can't do it. I'm going to pass on that right now. I don't want to have nightmares. This is my bed. I sleep in here. This poster was collected with other items from an empty house that is in foreclosure. It was owned by a young woman in her 20s who passed away in the 1970s. Giggles can be heard coming from the room you hang it in. Hang with caution. I'm not hanging this. I'm literally like... Lord, help me hang in there. Like, it seems like a cute little thing, but if it's like possessed or something, like, I'm not messing with that. This is so much freakier than I thought. I thought it was gonna be like, oh, like a, like a weird head or something like funny. This is just getting like worse and worse. This is Jessica. She is a plastic doll that holds the spirit of a six-year-old who passed away after jumping off of a cliff by her own will. I can't do this. I'm like freaking out. Why does that thing keep playing? It's like every time I bring up a new thing to talk about. Is that, that what is? Oh my God, oh my God. This is really freaky that a little six year old jumped off of a cliff on her own. Okay, no, 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 I can't. I can't do it. I'm done. I can't. Okay, this one says it's friendly spirits. It has been known to attract a high number of orbs and streaks of light while being played on the ballad of Davy Crockett's side. If you play this record and take photos in the space where the music is playing, you will see orbs. These are friendly spirits. I'm just into no spirits. Even if they're friendly, I don't want it. I don't want this. I cannot open something in my room that is says that like it's gonna increase my nightmares because i already have like crazy dreams oh this like took a dark turn i thought it would be like a fun video oh, i didn't think it would be this bad i haven't seen anyone do like scary mystery boxes i thought it would be different oh my god i'm gonna get my uh, sage really quick because i'm freaking out Oh my gosh. I'm literally taking all this stuff, dumping it. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the heck? Stop. I don't like it. I can't. Please stop. I like did not even wind it up that much. 
Okay, I'm not doing this. I'm good. This stuff is so creepy to me. Please do not try this. Like, you shouldn't mess with spirits. I didn't think that this was something where they were gonna give me like possessed stuff. I thought it was gonna be funny. This isn't funny. Uh, I just can't do it. <laughs> I can't. Don't try this, you guys. Do not order this. It's just not my thing. <laughs> So, I don't know what to say. Oh my gosh. Let me know, you guys, if you have anything, any stuffed animals or stuff that's weird like this and what to do. I don't know what to do with this. I'm going to toss it. I just want to make sure that I'm, like, good when I go to sleep tonight. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. This just got super creepy. And I'm going to go. Love you guys. And I'll see you next time.